Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. In the last episode, we learned about how to extract information out of your building components and put them into a tabular format by creating a schedule. Today, in this episode, we are going to talk about how to extract material quantities out of your components. Let's begin. So I'm going to use this small residential project for this tutorial. Here I have used a brick wall, which includes a layer of plaster. So let's go into the edit type and the edit to find out what layers do I have in this wall. So in the structure layer, I have brick material with 230 millimeter thickness. And on both sides on towards exterior and interior, I have plaster layers of 10 millimeters. So what I really want to extract this information is that what is the total volume of bricks I'm using in this project? And what is the total volume of plaster that I'm using in this project? So instead of looking at the volume of this particular wall, which is 4.918 cubic meters, that includes in its calculation the width of total wall thickness, which means 250 millimeters. This is not the correct quantity that is going to appear for my brick volume. So I want to extract material quantities separately for each material. To do this, I will go under View tab under Schedules. Let's go ahead and create a material takeoff. Now the process of creating the schedule is the same as what we create a schedule for building components. We talked about this in very detail in my last episode. So if you haven't watched that out, I really recommend that you do because that is going to create the foundation for what we're going to do next here. So first thing I'm going to do here is select the category of the component that I want to extract information from. In this case, that is going to be walls. And I'm going to say OK. And next, I want to take the parameters which I want in my table of schedules. So let's go ahead and create family. And then I'm going to find the type of wall. And in addition to our regular component parameters in the material takeoff, you're going to get some additional parameters that starts with material. So let's go ahead and add material name, material area and material volume. You can keep on adding more information based on what you are looking to extract. Next, let's go and sort and group this table. So I want to sort and group my material name. So all the bricks together, all the plaster together. And once I know that, okay, this is the total volume of bricks, I also want to group this information by the type of wall. So this particular type of wall has that much brick. This particular type of wall is that much brick. So first sort by material name and then by type. I want to see the totals and I don't want to itemize every instance. I don't want every single wall to be in a separate row. The next, I'm also going to go on a formatting and go ahead and select my area and volume. And I'm going to say, I want to calculate total of this area and total of this volume. And I'm going to say, okay. So here we have a complete schedule of all the walls grouped together by the material name and then by the type of wall. We, what we can additionally do here is add a footer underneath the material name. So we know that, okay, the total volume of bricks, including these both wall types, is going to be 133.41 cubic meters. So this way we can identify separate quantities for separate materials. For this process to work correctly, make sure that you have assigned correct materials to your components. They're named correctly and each of your components inner layers are also given the material. Now the process of creating a material takeoff of any building components remain the same. You go under view, go to schedules, go to material takeoff, select the element category for which you would like to create a material takeoff, choose the available fields, let's say family, type, in addition to that, let's go ahead, material name, material volume. Make sure that you're sorting them correctly and formatting them based on your needs. So if you're choosing any material areas or volumes, make sure that you're also calculating its totals. When you are done with this, you will have the total quantity of the material. In this particular case, the concrete rectangular beam has total 18.69 cubic meters of concrete used in this entire project. So you know the total material quantities quiet at your fingertips. So far we know how to create a component schedule and extract quantities of materials from your components. But what about quantities such as room areas or building areas? How do we extract such quantities? In the next episode we are going to talk all about rooms 
room areas and how to create a room finish schedule. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.